to the whole damn operation. They ran, they cooked, they kept track of the calf tally, uh, they made sure everybody was fed, and they were sort of at the top of the food chain. And so I never really did understand, uh, you know, until the city women started coming out here uh, exactly what women's liberation was about because everybody, all the women I knew were already well liberated. The one thing that I did want to start out with is sort of the beginning of the history. And, you know, it's a wonderful spot right here. If you look up on the, on this hillside right here, you can kind of get an idea for why Rimrock's got its name. This is classic Verde limestone. The first time that I ever came to McGuireville, I came with a, uh, a interpreting the history of McGuireville. I came with a lot of old timers, and the old timers kept talking about the no tell motel. Yeah. <laughs> that evidently some of them had frequented when they were in high school <laughs> or when they were first messing around with somebody who they ultimately married. Eugene McGuire was originally told to me uh, by a guy by the name of Dave Hopkins. And Dave Hopkins was a dear friend of mine. I, uh, I went to see him down in his house in Camp Verde a while after I got here. Everybody told me Go see Dave Hopkins if you want to know the history of Beaver Creek. Go see Dave Hopkins. 